Hi everyone. We will be continuing the discussion on Metaflow. In my previous video, I have explained what all challenges data scientists face in their day-to-day -day life and uh, how Metaflow helps data scientists to manage, deploy, and run their code in a production environment. Also, we have uh, discussed how it accelerates the development process by tracking uh, the experiments done by data scientists. So to cut the long story short, Metaflow becomes a rescue for data scientists. In this video, we are going to see how we can convert our traditional machine learning code into Metaflow script. So before moving to that part, let's see how we can install Metaflow on our system. So what you have to do, just pip install Metaflow. It will get installed. But there is a caveat. Metaflow is only available for Mac OS and Linux. So if you are Windows user, either you can install a virtual machine or you can use Docker. Okay. Now let's see the coding part. So what I have done, I have taken this simple example where we are training our linear regression model by using house price data set. So let's import the required libraries. Okay, then let's see the house price data set. So it's having a multiple feature like uh, house age, number of rooms, number of bedrooms, area population, and all. So on these features, we are gonna predict our house price. Okay, so let's get some information. So you can see we have seven columns. Okay, let's see more information. So these are the columns. And in pre-processing, we are simply uh, creating the independent and dependent variables. So now we have created X and Y. Now let's split this X and Y into X train and Y train. So that is also done. Now we are using scikit-learn linear model to train our model, okay? So now we have X train, Y train. So let's start training. Training has been completed. And let's save this model inside model dot house price. Yeah, it's uh, saved already. Let's confirm. Yeah, so our model is here. And now we can simply load this model same model and we can use it for prediction right prediction result that's it so now we are uh, ready to go okay so we have trained our linear model so now what we have to do we have to convert this uh, machine learning code into metaflow script so now let's go to our metaflow website and see how it looks like so let's try the linear graph where each steps are executing in sequence. So you can see here we have start step, then in between we have step name A and then we have end step. So these two steps are mandatory. You can't uh, remove these two things from this script, but you can add multiple steps in between. So start and end will be required. And in between, you can add multiple scripts. So this is the basic uh, uh, script. So let's again move to the Jupyter and let's try this. So what all things we required here, we need to import Metaflow and we are using flow spec and steps. And these steps uh, are called decorators in Metaflow language. So uh, let's try to convert it uh, for our purpose. So step start and in step is compulsory. So let's add the steps between between these. Okay. So first step will be required. Uh, let's see. Uh, probably we can say uh, start with uh, data processing. So let's name it as process and 
here we need to mention once start steps complete it should move to process and probably in between we can add one more step okay so let's give this name as train so once process complete uh, let's move to train so now we have one two three four steps now move to VS code and we'll write our uh, machine learning code over here so I have created lrflow.py okay so let's uh, copy this flow paste it here and now we'll implement our machine learning code what we have already written right so before that we required all the uh, dependencies so let's uh, copy those so let's add here all our dependencies okay then uh, in start step we'll mention all the uh, initial steps like uh, get data from housing.csv means read file and all those things so let's uh, write that mm. okay so what we are telling here once this process starts it will read the data from housing.csv and uh, it will hold this data into house tf in this data frame and then it will pass this data set into next step so that's why we are telling here self dot process so this self will having these house tf okay so now let's move to next step process here we have to give uh, uh, pre-processing kind of thing where we are mentioning independent and dependent variable and simply splitting our data set into x y and then we are telling let's go for train the model right so in train steps we have to mention training code let's do that so in training script we are mentioning like uh, initializing linear degradation model and then we are simply doing lm dot fit so it will start training the model and it will save model as house price model v1 dot sav okay so now our code is ready we have uh, converted our machine learning code into metaflow scripts so what is happening over here we are following the sequential uh, steps so once start get started it will read the csv file and then the flow will move to process it will process these data and now it will provide x and y to the next step and the model will get trained so what's the benefit of metaflow is uh, suppose you want to uh, run these two process on your local system and uh, you want this step this training step you want to train on server because probably you may require GPU for that so that you can do actually Metaflow will help you to configure all those things and it will take care of all the dependencies all the resources all your uh, you know scaling uh, thing everything it will take care so that's the benefit of metaflow so now let's save this and uh, try to execute this script so now let's bring the terminal okay run this okay let's run this file python 3 lr.py run or probably just try help command so it will give you what uh, options you have that means your metaflow is working fine right metaflow 2.4.7 is 
there. So let's try to execute this script. Just remove. So this way you can run Python 3 lrflow.py run. So it start uh, first validating uh, the steps you have given. So it's saying the graph looks good. That means the steps uh, you have defined, it's uh, working fine. Then it also execute pylint. So pylint mainly check your uh, Python code. And it's saying pylint is happy. That means uh, you don't have any issue with your Python code. So now it's starting uh, the first start process. That is when it's successful. Then starting next step process. That is also done. Training also started. And it's finished. Right, so now it's created our model and finally it's running the end step. And it's done. So what happens as you see each steps are running individually. So you can do some configuration and you can execute these steps at different location or at remote locations. So like I mentioned, you can execute these two steps on your local system and probably you can execute this step on your server. So Metaflow will take care of all those things. Suppose uh, uh, first two steps you are executing on your local system, right? And if you want to execute uh, train steps on server where you require GPU and you can see like uh, these values you are creating inside process step which is present on your local system but you are using these uh, values while training so that thing metaflow will uh, handle for you so you don't have to take care about those things metaflow will take care of those okay and suppose you are training your model for thousand epochs and somewhere around 850 epochs the training got failed for some reason so you don't have to train it again from scratch you can resume that training by help of metaflow so it will uh, give those uh, uh, backup once it get failed and it will resume those training so that's the benefit of metaflow so you can see this uh, training got completed so you can try uh, different uh, uh, graphs as you can see here on the metaflow website so right now i have showed you this linear graph but uh, there are multiple ways to do that like branch where you can parallel process two steps and then you can join it so it will save lots of time suppose uh, a and B it's not dependent on each other uh, so you can process these two steps individually and later you can combine it so Metaflow have multiple benefits so if you want to execute uh, uh, try multiple thing you can go through these uh, examples and you can try that and uh, if you haven't watched my previous video where uh, I have explained benefits of using Metaflow. So please do check that. Thank you for watching.